This is Dr. Joe Heyman. I'm the Chief Medical Information Officer for the Whittier IPA and the Wellport Health Information Exchange. And I've been asked to show you a few things about medical records that you may not be aware of. Uh, many patients probably would like to know what exactly is inside a doctor's record. And I thought I would demonstrate for you what a simple note looks like in a doctor's medical record. Most doctor's records have the same format that I'm going to show you right now. And this is actually an electronic medical record that a doctor has used. Um, and I wanted to tell you that this patient has given permission for us to use her as a demonstration. So you need not worry that you're going to see something that you shouldn't see. Uh, as you can see at the very top, it gives a little information about the patient. And then the next thing is what we call the chief complaint or the uh, reason for the appointment. In this case, it lists hypothyroidism, which means uh, an underactive thyroid gland. Then there's something that we refer to as the history of the present illness. And that generally is a brief history of the particular problem that we're discussing at the time. And so here you can see that uh, there is a discussion of how this happened and why. Then below that, you'll see there's a list of the patient's medications, allergies, um, it shows her vital signs that are frequently taken and entered by somebody else in the office besides the physician. There's a family history. Then there's a social history, which uh, usually discusses things like alcohol, diet, exercise, marital status, occupation, smoking. Then there's a surgical history. And there's a medical history. And then following that is a going through the review of the patient's rest of their health by what they call a review of systems. And they generally start at the top, although this chart doesn't. So, you know, it would be head, eyes, ears, nose and throat, neck, chest, abdomen, legs, etc. Then after that appears the physical examination and the notes that are taken there, and then a treatment plan, the laboratories that are, go uh, tests that are going to be ordered, uh, what actually happened. So here they say they reviewed the labs and discussed them. They, they feel that the patient is now under good control as far as her thyroid is concerned, and they're going to continue using the dosage that they were using before. So that's a very typical um, doctor's note. Also, what you would find in the chart is laboratory reports, radiology reports, and they would be in different sections. In an electronic medical record, um, you might also find an administrative summary of the um, patient's uh, demographics. And... Uh, in the case of our health information exchange, you can see the patient's allergies, medications, diagnoses, and uh, immunizations. And I, what I'm demonstrating to you now is a health information exchange. And a health information exchange uh, shows you all the patient's information from all the physicians in the community. So the note we were just looking at was a note that came from um, this New England endocrine. But as you can see, there's a progress note here from her podiatrist. Uh, you can see the future appointments with other people in the medical community. And as we go backwards, uh, we can see her vital signs. Here are some laboratory work, um, results that we can see. And these come from all over the medical community. And we can move further back. We can see here that she had a fall and was seen at the Anna Jakes Hospital. And we can take a look at the note. 
that was done in the emergency department that day? And if we go further back, here's a visit to the Anna Jakes Hospital where the patient had several x-rays. And as you can see, the x-ray reports are right here. We can go from uh, one x-ray report to the lab work. We can go backwards and um, we can go see a second x-ray. Is there an x-ray of her ribs? And this is her sacrum and coccyx. So uh, as you can see, not only does this show you um, all of the patient's visits, but it also has her laboratory work and her radiology uh, information, as well as progress notes. And anybody within the um, medical community who's taking care of this patient can look at the same information. So that's the benefit of a health information exchange. Now what I would like to show you is the benefit of a patient portal. Now in this case, I'm going to be showing you a portal that actually um, is into the health information exchange. So this allows the patient to actually see a summary of her entire community's uh, information and also allows her to have a message uh, with the practice that she's interested in using. Many portals just go to one hospital or one practice, but the principle is the same. So after signing in with your username and password, you get to the patient portal and you can open up the continuity of care document. This document um, allows you to uh, view all your clinical information. It also allows you to download it to your computer. And if you want to, you can transmit it to another physician or to somebody else using your email. So this is listing all of the patient's uh, providers. It lists the allergies, the immunizations. Uh, in this case, it's missing her social history and her family history. Uh, it shows vital signs, and then it also shows some demographic information about the patient's insurance information. So that would be the summary. If the patient has had some laboratory work, uh, the patient can actually see their laboratory results right here on the uh, patient portal as you can see right here. Um, some other um, interesting aspects of the patient portal is that you can send messages to your provider. For example, you could select your provider here And then you could say that you want to send either a medical question, a personal question, a laboratory question, whatever you want to do. You could just type your message. And um, you submit it, and then uh, the provider will receive it. It's completely encrypted so that nobody else can look at it. And when the provider receives it, they can actually open it, answer you, and send you a message back that you would see here in your inbox. You can uh, request an appointment um, by picking a particular date and telling why you need it. And you can request a um, prescription refill in the same way. You would select your pharmacy, select your provider, if you know the medication and dosage, you would just put it in there. And then you could add another one and give any comments that you have. And lastly, uh, one of the wonderful things about uh, your account 
is that in this case, uh, the patient is 98 years old, so she has a care representative who takes care of her and who accesses her medical information, and she could easily add somebody else by just filling in this information about that person and submitting it. So now you've seen, in summary, uh, what a doctor's note looks like, what a health information exchange looks like, and what a patient portal looks like.